skin is the largest organ of our bodies. As a kid, I kind of destroyed mine. I was in the sun all the time, no sunscreen, and now I'm in my 40s, I'm paying the price. When we started Blueprint, we had the goal, measure every organ in the body, including skin, and slow the speed of aging, and then reverse the aging damage. I had a lot of skin aging damage. And what we've done is we've used various technologies to measure my skin damage and my age. I'm gonna show you three things today. I'm gonna to start with the creams, then I'm gonna show you lasers or devices, and then I'm gonna tell you what you should do on a daily basis. I wake up, I wash my face with CeraVe. It's got some uh, salicylic acid, which is like just enough to keep my face uh, blemish free. I also microdose Accutane. So I currently take two pills a week. Each one's 40 milligrams, which has really been great. I do a few anti-aging therapies that have a side effect of acne. For example, rapamycin, which is one of the most promising anti-aging drugs that's used for people who are doing organ transplants. It suppresses the immune system kind of counterintuitive. The dose I'm taking has acne side effects. So this is really great for some acne control. I just applied this Adipu cream. Uh, we've been trying this now for three weeks. Like we do with every cream, we're motivated to see, does this work by the markers we can measure? So this is basically feeding fat cells in my face because I'm trying to rejuvenate the volume in my face. This is supposed to help, but again, we're two weeks in and it could be in the case that in a week or two weeks or four weeks from now, it's in kind of like the cream graveyard on my counter. Well, we're not doing it anymore because it's got to prove that it's worthy of existence in the protocol, otherwise it's out. What we've basically found is that creams don't move the needle on data. Like if you're trying to really address the crow's feet or you're trying to reduce the UV damage, which you can't see with your eye, it's on a machine using multi-spectral imaging, uh, you really need to use devices like lasers and other things, IPL which I will show you in a minute. So uh, basically, in summary, the routine is very simple. I wash with this in the morning. I put this cream on, I just dab it on. Again, trial, we'll see if it works. And then I put sunscreen on, Elta MD. I wear sunscreen because the sun causes damage. It ages the skin and causes the aging damage. So I try to spend my time in the sun in the early mornings or in the evenings when the UV index is low. Uh, otherwise, I stay out of the sun. But when I am in the sun, I do have sunscreen on. Welcome to the clinic. Here is kind of how we understand reality with Blueprint. It's like food where we've constructed a diet for my 2,250 calories where every calorie has to fight for its life. So we have these ideal markers of where we want the organs to be and we have the food and if the food does not deliver the marker that we expect it to, it's out. The same is kind of true with the clinic where we have these markers, for example, with skincare, like UV damage, pore size, reds, browns, etc. If we don't hit the markers, the technology is out. And so let me show you how we do these baseline measurements to get us orientation of where my starting point is. This device here is a clinical grade system that's typically in dermatology offices. It's called multi-spectral imaging. And it gives you this dashboard, uh, I think eight to 10 different biomarkers. When I started, it was pretty terrifying. I looked like a zombie face. You see all the damage. What was interesting is my son Talmadge, I had a surprise birthday party for him. All of his friends came up here. It was really kind of cool, like 16, 17 year olds, and their skin is just beautiful. They put their faces in here and then they see their zombie face. And they're like, wait a second, <laughs> but my skin looks so great. I've wore sunscreen my whole life. They're just unaware that they've had so much sun damage, especially living in Southern California. So this is an Exilis device. This is for the face. Uh, this is a radio frequency technology. This tip here warms up and you kind of roll it over the skin and it's used for collagen production and for tightening the skin. So as you age, you lose firmness of the skin and less collagen. So we're trying to revolumize. And that was in particular a problem with me because in the beginning of Blueprint, I lost a lot of facial volume due to my caloric restriction. I've since increased my, my caloric intake, but we've tried to increase vo volume. And if you see my pictures from a year ago to now, it's a big difference. I've revolumized quite a bit. So we did this for a protocol. We've paused this because we're a little bit worried about it being potentially a cause for fat loss. So we have a device uh, that measures heat. We stay at exactly 40 to 42 C. Anything above is used for fat burning, but anything below uh, should be restorative. But just out of precaution, because we're trying to rejuvenate volume, we've paused this device. So it's pending future analysis. Also, we pause this because we've become very recently uh, positive on a technology called Tixel. We don't yet own the device, we're buying it now, but that uses thermal mechanical ablation. So it uses a titanium tip 
and it delivers these, these intense pulses of heat. And we found it is safe. So we've used lasers, we've used RF, and they all have these pros and cons. There's always some nuances with the technology. Tixel we're finding is safe, it's efficacious, it does the same things like uh, firmness and collagen production. So I'm now three therapies in, we like the results so far. Again, by using the multi-spectral imaging technology to measure the markers. We also have things like this device, it measures advanced glycated end products. So basically junk build up in the skin. You put your arm on this thing and it measures it. So adjacent to the face on skin, you're looking at the whole body. And so this particular reader, you can see here, you can find age on the bottom, on the x-axis here, and the result is your y-axis. So for example, if you're 20 years old, you wanna have, you'll be right here on the result for normal. One line below standard deviation is better than normal, the one is above. I was, my first measurements were in the red, like I was really bad. And so this again is looking at cardiovascular health for the skin. So whether you're looking at UV damage or, or browns or reds or pore size, uh, we're looking at the, the skin health across the entire body. We started using this device. This is a BBL, also known as IPL, Intense Pulse Light. And there's different wavelengths. There's 515, 695, 800, 640. And we started doing full body treatments. There was a small study at Stanford that showed that it changed the genetic expression of skin to be dramatically younger. It wasn't a big enough study that gave us a huge amount of confidence, but enough where we're like, you know what, let's play with this. So we started doing whole body and it was basically effective at eliminating a bunch of the skin damage because I never had a shirt on when I was growing up as a kid. I've always burned and tanned on my upper body. And so I had a lot of skin damage on my face and my upper body. And so I've basically got my skin back to the majority of that skin damage being gone. Another device which we've used, which is kind of like it's gone in and out of our protocol is Saluma Pro. It's a bit expensive. It's $1,500 for this. So it's kind of a big buy, uh, but I did this for a while. It has both red and blue light and red is for collagen production and healing skin health. Uh, blue is for uh, acne. So I did this for a bit for blemish control when I was having side effects from some of the medications I was taking, but I no longer uh, do it. So um, it kind of comes in and out of the protocol, but it's kind of hard to pinpoint because the effect is so subtle and the devices we use have such a big effect, like the Tixel system or BBL. And then finally, let me walk over here and show you this. We have uh, stayed with red light therapy. We weren't certain whether it justified the time. I do this uh, three times a week uh, for 12 minutes. So it's a total of uh, 36 minutes a week. And it uses both red light and near infrared, uh, but I stand right here in between them. It's kind of a, a hacky setup. And uh, it's good for skin health, for healing, for uh, mitochondrial health. It even, has, red light therapy has been shown to be useful for depression or when it's uh, exposed to the forehead. So there's all kinds of things that uh, just has general health benefits. And because I do work out quite a bit, I'm pretty active, uh, giving a little boost to my recovery. So this one we feel like the evidence is there to support doing this, even though we can't directly measure its effect because it's compounded upon other things we do. And that's a basic tour of the, of the clinic. You get an idea of how fast we move, the things we try. Uh, I'm very happy with the progress we've made. Uh, looking at my damage, I think when I started, I was in like the 98th percentile. Uh, my skin age was like 64 on one of the markers. And I'm back I'm, on my recent measurement, I, was to, I think to between 37 and 42. So had significant improvements in the measurement. Okay, welcome to the kitchen. <laughs> You're really weird. This is the exciting part. I have a few things that are a little unconventional. Okay, so I'm kind of unconventional, but on my windows, I have really big ones all over the house. And I get a lot of sun in the morning and night. And so to control the environment, we have a tint on here that knocks out like 99.9% .9 of UV. I get a lot of comments about my pale skin. I'm a vampire, that's what I'm trying to do, okay? But really sun causes damage. It ages your skin, it makes you look older. So you don't want that. And what the objective of Blueprint is not to adhere to cultural norms of a tan. The, the objective is slowing my speed of aging and reversing aging damage. That includes sun damage. So I try to control what comes in my window. When I go outside, I'll walk to the cafe look, uh, close by. I will take an umbrella with me and I'll have the umbrella above my head. That is weird in the United States of America. In other places of the world, it's very common and very normal. So just to be aware that other people do have skin practices that are useful. Try to avoid damaging your skin. This happens when there's high UV, 
And that means so between 10 a.m. and 4 p.m. every day, roughly in that window of time, it's higher UV, there's more damage. It's higher in the summer than it is in the winter. The most effective thing to do is avoid the damage. If you're going to be outside, wear sunscreen. Elta MD is a good option. It's on the Blueprint website. Uh, or if you can avoid it altogether, even better. But really, uh, for the basics we can all agree upon, let's try to stop the damage, have a good diet, and we'll be off to a good starting point.